this past upload time. All the clips. So editor. The second one I've used. It's not working. And I feel like giving up on today. Been sick all week. <laughs> Deciding that I am going to just go ahead and pay for the fancy editor and hopefully have it up today. Um, yep. Hello, I didn't see you there. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. Um, I am, well, I'm celebrating. <laughs> um, so I have met 15 subscribers on my channel, which is huge, it feels like. Um, it might seem small to a lot of other people or creators, but to me, it's huge. Um, so right now we are celebrating and Theo and I are cuddled up here on the ground in our normal filming area, um, which is practically a closet. Um, also, my voice might sound weird. Um, I have been sick, really sick, like the last week or so. Um, and yesterday, uh, there was a lot of vomiting involved where there normally is, but this was like really gross. So um, my throat kind of hurts a whole lot. And so it hasn't been uh making the correct sounds i sound like a frog so yeah uh it's been fun it's been so fun but first on the agenda today i was thinking covid's still happening we all miss our families and i was just thinking of all the great memories that i have with them um over the holidays especially when i was little um this year but Halloween. Halloween was always fun on my birth dad's side of the family and my um, mom's side of the family. Going back to my birth dad's side of the family, uh, I had uh, my birth dad's side of the family always, um, basically we owned a nine generation farm. And so every Halloween, they would throw these giant Halloween parties, my grandparents would. And all of us kids would dress up. And I think one of my favorite memories I have of that was um, me and my cousin uh, dressed up. I dressed up as a witch because I want to be like grandma. And her and her friend dressed up as gangsters. So they took, um, I don't know if anyone remembers Five Gum, but they had a gold one out that year. And they took and they wrapped it around their teeth. And wore comfy clothes and I was like oh man why didn't I think of that you know at least the comfy clothes part but uh that was one of them and then I remember later that night uh we would go on a hayride and we'd go throughout the acres of the farm and the adults would be standing with silly string and whatnot to attack us um I remember one time we jumped off of the um <clears throat> off of the hayride uh, and we tried to, my cousin knew where her teacher lived, so we were going to go and scare him. It didn't work. So, yeah, those are some good memories that I have of Halloween on that side of the family. Um, Halloween on the other side of the family, my family also owned a farm on that side of the family. So, um, my cousins and I, we would all get dressed up and my aunt had this old barn that she, she used, they used to raise horses and all that kind of stuff. And, um, but it hadn't been utilized in quite a few years. So for us, what she had done is she took and put together a haunted house. So she had scary things going on in there. She had creepy things. Um, I remember one Halloween we did, um, actually we did like a cousin sleepover there for Halloween um and we I remember we wrapped each other up in in uh toilet paper and we made each other toilet paper mummies that was super fun um and then uh, I remember um you know helping my aunt decorate the front room um just stuff like that 
um, we, we always had a really good time on Halloween. Uh, it's Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving, if you watched my last video, you'll understand. Theo, he thinks he needs to elevate my feet. <sighs> Sorry, you can, you can lay back down. You're good. Um, uh, basically, I told you guys to have gastroparesis. Um, basically, it means that my stomach is paralyzed. Um, I'll talk more about that in a video someday, but I don't want this, um, this whole thing be about me and my sickness. So basically going to Thanksgiving is hard because that's basically what the holiday is about is eating. And so, um, I had always had a lot of trouble on Halloween, but I never realized it until I was older and got allergy tested and found out that I am severely allergic to turkey. Um, yeah, so that was no fun. Um, but I, I remember that day we would go to my grandparents on my dad's side um, and we would have a Thanksgiving, um, we would have Thanksgiving uh, lunch and they have a small, small country like house. And so like you can only imagine uh, their kitchen filled with, I think, at least 20 of us. Um, it was kind of wild. We were all kicking each other on the table and blaming each other and, uh, you know, being sassy, especially my little brother. He didn't like to eat anything either. We're both very picky. Um, my cousin though, I remember she would always do the prayer and I absolutely love that. Um, and then we'd go out and we'd climb the trees. They had these, they had this like little, uh, shack and then there was trees around that. So we used to go go out and climb the trees and play in the leaves and uh go walk the fields and stuff like that so uh that was always something we did that we had from so on thanksgiving on uh, my mom's side of the family now that we're older we kind of just eat and we play card games um so we play card games like euchre and gin rummy uh we play you know or we play regular games like um we would play Risk, which we weren't allowed to play for a little while because we get, were a very competitive bunch. Um, we also, um, oh, we'd also play Catchphrase, which I was never really good at. Um, I didn't always get the point of the game. Like I get it now, but like a few years ago, I was just, I was just there to have fun. That's all. Um, but yeah, when we were younger, things that we used to do is my, uh, aunt who lives on the farm, it's a regular farmhouse. So it's like two stories, you know, I call it more than that, but that's because the place is magical. Um, but I remember our cousins from Ohio would come up, um, and I love them so much. They're great. Um, and they were all a little older than us, but I wouldn't say a little older. My oldest cousin is maybe like three years older than me. And so they were, they were around that time. They were either three years older than, than you or your exact same age. Cause we were like, boom, 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 babies year after year. Um, and we used to play this game called Kings and Queens. Um, and my two oldest cousins would be the king and the queen. And, I remember we decided we wanted to do a play for our family. Um, so we did that. We also, yeah, but I remember, and I don't know if any of them remember this. I didn't bring it up last night. They'll have to, if they watch this video and they, and they were like, wait, I don't remember that. They'll have to bring it up to me. And I'll just, I'll just let them know what I remember. But I remember when I was little, I remember I, we were all playing and they said they were going to execute me. And I'm like, bitch, what did I do wrong? Um, and so that's part of what I remember. But then I also remember um, they were like, oh, no, it's going to be all a part of a play. And you're a princess and blah, 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 blah. And trying to make me feel better because I was just crying. I, I remember hysterically crying because I was upset that my cousins wanted to kill me. Like at that age, I still didn't understand that they weren't actually going to kill me. Um, and I remember one of my little cousins, he had the great idea that we'd turn off all the lights for the beginning of the, pr the production. And he had this like light up mask kind of thing. And I would wear it around me and then I would whip it off. And that's it. That's all I remember. Maybe it was a dream. Maybe not. I don't know. 
but um that's that's what i remember from that but we also used to um go outside they'd send us outside and they would take and spin us on chairs on the uh because she had like the old-fashioned like beautiful like tree with the nice rope swings and um we would spin each other as fast as we could and then we would stop it immediately and then you had to get off and go try and touch um the light pole that was just like right next to the tree uh many of us did not succeed um and yeah it was just a, it was really weird weird time in our lives but we still had a good time you know like when you're close with your family you, you know when you're little you don't understand like when you're older and you guys finally get doing your own things you know that you're not gonna see that much and I think that's really been put on my mind heavily this year because of COVID so ah so Christmas most joyful time of the year typically uh we would all of us would go over to grandma and grandpa's house and they would have this giant pile of presents um for us that they had collected throughout the year um and they you know had everybody everybody got christmas gifts and we'd all buy gifts for each other because we were like maybe like a little bit of a smaller family so it wasn't like buying for a whole bunch of people um and there was every christmas eve because that's when we would open up gifts from our grandparents and the next day we would open up our gifts from santa claus in the morning um me and my cousin we always got matching pajamas now we're a year apart i'm the oldest on that side of the family i know anyway we would get a whole bunch of matching stuff and we would have to and i mean have to the next day wear them we we don't care if they're too tight if they're too loose if it doesn't look right had to be worn um so we would always match the next day and that was just always something that was a favorite of mine um our we weren't like let's go outside and play kind of kids in the winter we were the summer kids in that side of the family uh just because i think it was part of being a farmer we were so used to um going and helping grandma out in the shop and learning how to pick blueberries and um learning how to gather them learning how to weigh them you know um preparing for the blueberry festival every year um so yeah we we did a lot of things there too but um, like I said, my favorite was just pajamas. We would get matching pajamas and we'd get matching clothes the next day. Um, and we would wear those the next day. And then, um, when we got up, we would get, um, you know, very individualized stockings for each of us. I still have my same stocking. I know grandma, I think my grandma still has it. <laughs> um, and, um, we each got our own stockings and inside of them would be no matching stuff so it'd be like oh santa thought of us as you know not like oh hey you're close enough in age this is so cute um and personally i kind of miss um the whole matching outfit thing um me and my cousin have very different styles now um all of us do it was a lot easier when we were little to pick up something cute at like the gap or something and just be like oh look at this um so yeah but um i don't know i just i miss it a lot of times now um we're getting a little bigger um on my mom's side of the family we used to do all sorts of things um we'd have three christmases pretty much we'd have um ours because we lived with my grandma so we would have ours where it'd be me my brother um grandma and my mom and we got each other gifts because we all lived in the same household you know so we did that and then um we would have um we would have the my aunt's christmas at their house at her house um and that was a place we pretty much gathered all the time anyway um and we would do all sorts of things like one year um my aunt dressed up as mrs claus and she came through and surprised us and it was the sweetest thing ever um 
and I, I, I'll never forget that. You know, it's great. It was pretty great. Um, and then my other aunt, she has another one, which <sighs> I get it, but I don't. This is the thing. Okay, let me explain to you the situation here. There is quite a few families on my mom's side of the family. And pretty much everyone that shows up to this one Christmas usually shows up to the other Christmas too. So I don't get why we always have two. I mean, I don't mind it because I love seeing them. Um, and, but I, I never got it. Never really understood it. Um, yeah. Um, now, like, traditions for Christmas are all over the place. And they include also going over to my husband's family now, where one of the traditions is after we fill our bellies and we open up presents, if we're going to stay any longer, we fall asleep on the floor in the living room. So we all curl up and just kind of fall asleep. Everyone just either takes a chair or the floor. I like the floor. Their carpet's really soft and like squishy. So, I mean, who doesn't want to lay on the floor? Okay, and the last memories are from um, New Year's Eve. Um, we kind of always just did something really spe like small but special. Um, and I remember this one year, my grandparents on my dad's side, they had all of us kids stay over. And I think that was only five of us at that time, but I don't think my brother stayed um, because he was the littlest at that time. But I remember uh grandma and grandpa all setting us up in the living room and in there there was another like little family room i called it the piano room because there was a piano there um but uh they set us all up in there and then when it came to the ball trap grandma got us uh wooden spoons and she got us pots and pans and we all ran out onto the front porch uh where it was freezing and we started hooting and hollering. We weren't sure what we were supposed to be doing with them at first, if I remember correctly. But I felt I felt scared to make the noise just because I really don't like a lot of noises to begin with. Um, and she was just like, go ahead, go, go bang it. So, it's like, and then on my mom's side of the family for New Year's, I remember one year we stayed at my aunt's house that lives further away. She was a little further away, more up north. Um, and we do these things called the cousin sleepover, where all the cousins come over and sleep. Well, I remember we decided to do it on uh, New Year's Eve one night. And instead of watching the ball drop together as a group, we decided to sit up and watch Dumb and Dumber, which was pretty great. I think he's having a crisis over the holidays. Um, I know for a lot of us, the holidays are going to be very, very hard and very difficult. Um, but, you know, we can all try to, you know, make it better and, um, you know, just, just do good. Um, so, um, we're going to go and we're going to go outside. Yeah. Okay. So me and Theo both say thank you for watching and we hope you have a wonderful night and some wonderful holidays and we will see you next week, right? Okay. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next video.